Hello everybody, today we're taking a quick look at server closet lighting. Now this lighting is um, semi-smart, it's also semi-complete. And I say that because the strips are actually going to be mounted on the underside of these stairs. Server closet is basically uh, a little closet underneath the stairway going to the attic and it's where I'm going to have my file server sitting on this lovely black rack there so I got a bunch of junk computers but you know I can never throw anything out so I got to figure out how to mount these things yet but it provides nice lighting in here so I can see what I've got in those bins I've got these little red bins here and those I'm going to have uh, various small computer components in. So I've got like flash drives, SD cards, and these ones are empty. I don't know I'm putting in those yet. And I got another one here just to, just to provide some illumination to the room. I know it's pretty hard to see anything in here. But these lights, I don't know if this is going to, yeah, it's not too visible, but... Hopefully you don't have epilepsy, because that probably would have just triggered a stroke or something. Um, they're semi-smart. They're not really smart at all, it's just there's a switch up in the door frame. And when the door closes, it pushes the button in, which turns the lights off. Making for a very dark closet any time of the day. So it's it didn't really need a smart, smart solution, because every time the door opens the light should turn on whereas with a real smart lighting solution I could have multiple trigger set up so if the door was turned on and the time was say an hour after or an hour before sunset the lights would turn on but even in the middle of the day this closet gets pretty dark because I have a bedroom there directly across the door from the closet is a wall and then uh, I've got two bedrooms there so light kind of comes in from all three of these doors but it doesn't really go into this closet too well not to mention when you're standing in the closet doorway you're pretty much creating a giant shadow that covers everything in the closet so I just real basic lighting set up on here let's see if I can get this light kind of turned up so I used speaker wire and these uh, these little clip things. I don't know what they're really called. Um, but they just clip the LED tape into them. And what's nice about that is I can always, if a bulb, a diode technically goes bad, uh, it's pretty easy to open this up and put a new piece of tape in it. And then that's just soldered up here at the top with uh, some speaker wire. And then that's just run through up to the switch. Now this is probably not the most efficient mount um uh, what am I looking for here? Not the most efficient wiring because I basically run the power to the switch and then I just loop straight back and go down. I probably could have put the switch in the same location but done the wiring a little differently so I wouldn't have used so much but I got the speaker wire at a deal and I'm not really too worried about it. So, that was the easiest way for me. But there you go. Semi-smart lighting for the server closet. Now the nice thing is, it's extremely low profile, so I don't have to worry about like knocking my head on a light bulb or something. And uh, it pretty much creates zero heat. So, that's another win because obviously there's going to be a computer sitting in there and computers kind of tend to make a little bit of heat, you know, you know, and uh, I'm expecting I'm going to have to put some kind of ventilation through to this room so I don't overheat the computer, which I've got some ideas for that already, but uh, if that ends up being the case, I'll make another video on it. So, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.